hello and welcome to 11th jmeter training video tutorial uh, in this session we would uh, have a look at how http cookie manager works we had seen cache manager last time and this is a time to have a look at cookie manager we would also enable and disable cookie manager execute the test and figure out what changes it brings up to the test execution so let's begin so i have jmeter opened here and we have our old mercury tour scripts here wherein we have welcome registration and create account page samples. Now the element which we are interested in this time is HTTP cookie manager which I have added at the test plan level. You can also add it at the th thread group level by just clicking right clicking and selecting add and then you can select one of the element under the uh, under the add button and then you can say config element and then you have HTTP cookie manager available here all right so what does HTTP cookie manager does as we all know cookies are used to maintain session uh, with respect to browser and this is the same behavior which can be emulated in JMeter here so cookie manager should be added to all web test otherwise JMeter is going to ignore the cookies when we add it at the thread group level it means that all HTTP requests will share the same cookies. I have only one thread here and I have added cookie manager at the test plan level here. So if I had multiple threads, then I could have also added them at the thread group level. Now let's have a look at elements in the cookie manager. So we have name here, which is to give it a name, comment, and then an option which says clear cookie on each iteration. Now this means that if it is selected, then all server defined cookies are cleared each time main thread group loop is executed so this is selected here by default then we have cookie policy and in this cookie policy we have options like compatibility uh, ignore cookies compatibility would be the default option here and this is something which works in most of the cases if you select ignore cookies then it is as good as omitting or ignoring the cookie manager then we have implementation here and we have under implementation hc3 cookie handler and hc4 cookie handler hc3 cookie handler is for http client 3.1 api while hc4 cookie handler is for http client 4 api default is hc3 cookie handler the point to note here is that if you use a website to test which has ipv6 address then you should select hc4 cookie manager Following this, we have another section which reads as user defined cookies. So this is where you can add your own cookies. I have not added any cookie here. Now, when you add your own cookies, then these will be used by all threads during test execution. So you should use this option with great caution. You should know what you are doing. Okay, now let's see what cookie manager does for us. Cookie manager has two functions. It is stores and sends cookies just like the real browser so if you have a http request and response has a cookie then cookie manager will automatically store that cookie and will use this cookie in the future request for any website which you are testing we will have a look at uh, this when we run the test in a while now each thread each jmeter thread will have its own cookie storage area so if you are testing a website which uses cookie for storing session session information then each jmeter thread will have its own session point to note here is that cookies do not appear in http cookie manager so when you run the test you won't see any information here but you can analyze the cookies by using a listener which is view results in tree we have used it various times in past and we can view cookies in view results in tree all right so let's uh let's carry out one exercise here so i have cookie manager here which is enabled i clear cookie on each iteration and now i'm going to run our test and see how it goes so to run the test you can either hit the green button or say Control r so i press Control r test run has begun we have welcome page sampler being executed first then registration page then create account page and this would keep going now let's have a look at individual samplers in the welcome page if i have a look at sampler results in the response header i have a cookie here which begins with oscs id equal to he blah 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 and then it ends with 8f68 now 
this is the same cookie which would be used in the subsequent request so this is the cookie under response header in the first sampler and let's have a look at second sampler now in the registration page if we have a request if we have a look at request here we will see that the request has the same cookie which we had a look at in first sampler welcome page so this is the request for the registration page and this is the cookie data now have a look at this it's the same cookie osc id 80 some more numbers ends with 8f68 this is the same cookie which we saw here 8f68 begins with 84e and this is the same cookie which is sent again in the create account page that is osid 8e something some numbers and ends with 8f68 this is the first iteration of uh, three steps then we come to the second iteration and the welcome page comes again then we have new cookie being uh, sent here in the response which is 023 ends with 437f and if we have a look at response uh, request of the registration page in the second run then we will see in the same cookie here which is 023 ends with 437f and same with the create account page which is 023 437f so this process will keep continuing first we receive a cookie in the welcome page and then this is sent in the request with the subsequent uh, registration and create account pages now this is the situation when cookie manager is enabled now let's see what happens if we don't use cookie manager so let me just disable it yeah let me come back to the view results entry we will run the test again but before that let's clear the past run results by hitting ctrl e button and now we will run the test again so let's say ctrl r yeah so test run has begun uh, visually we do not see any differences here all requests are successful but we will analyze the results and see what's different when we have disabled the cookie manager so this is the welcome page yeah so welcome page is same uh, we have another cookie sent here which begins with e0 some numbers ends with e624 but let's see if this cookie is sent in the next request in the registration page so this is the registration page and see the request well no cookies here the message is no cookies and the create account page which is again no cookies which is quite obvious because we have disabled the http cookie manager now what happens is cookie is sent from the server which we saw here here and response header but this cookie is simply ignored uh, by jmeter jmeter does not save this cookie this is the reason when we have a look at subsequent request in registration page and the create account page we see that no cookie is available here isn't it okay so this is this was an example of how we can enable and disable cookies to execute test now notice this thing here that if you disable the cookie and execute your test then your test may begin to fail which is the reason that you do not have any cookies and then those cookies are not sent then no session information is maintained so server do not, does not really know which user is accessing the website the website which we have taken example of here is pretty simple and looks like it continues to work even if there is no cookie sent but in most of the modern complex applications if you take example of any e-commerce website then this would not work if you disable cookie manager so this was an example of http cookie manager and its importance and its usage uh, that's about it in this session if you enjoy watching this session then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel ciao see you in next session